What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Ari and this is my electric gas powered bicycle. So right now we're going to go on a bike ride and I'm going to explain a little bit along the way. <laughs> healthy for the engine though at least it seems like it I don't know seems because I guess it's a two-stroke like it's kind of still rotating the uh, the piston in there is still rotating with no oil so I don't know I get like a bad feeling like it's bad for the engine or something could just be me but But anyway, let's continue on here. So there's my cars coming. And then right now, I'm gonna engage the, the throttle here on the left. And then give it a little bit of gas.
this video I'm showing this is a two-stroke setup that I bought from an individual online on eBay uh, I can share the description to his link below but basically this is a two-stroke uh, engine it does consume a little bit more fuel than a four-stroke uh, especially going to higher speeds you're going to consume more fuel naturally uh, so far I've noticed the speed has been constantly um, when I max it out it's usually around 35 miles per hour I think top speed that I've hit so far on this setup that I have now with this spindle size um, has been 37 miles per hour which is pretty good actually for not just an e-bike but also for a motorized gas bike um, as you can see over there, that's my electric Onyx motorbike, which I have put this setup on that bike, but because the wheel size diameter and also the weight of that bike plus my weight, which is uh, 215 pounds roughly, uh, it's, it's only been able to go up to uh, 200, uh, sorry, it's only been able to go up to uh, 30 miles per hour, which is actually not that bad. You know, figuring that this bike alone is, um, you know, it's nice enough to get with uh, the standard battery about 30 miles with a full charge with the basic standard 23 amp hour battery uh, versus this one here. I like this setup better because it's an actual mountain bike. You can pedal, it's got a derailleur. Uh, the battery dies if the gas, if you run out of gas or you don't have oil. For example, um, earlier I ran out of uh, gas, so I just lifted this up, started pedaling with the electric assist that comes with the bike, which is actually a great feature. Uh, especially if you want to go on a long road trip, if you plan on, um, you know, just cruising around, um, around town and, you know, you have, you know, anxiety, um, that your battery is going to die or you have anxiety that you're running, you're going to run out of gas. You can carry a one gallon gas tank like I've done on one trip. This is my one gallon gas tank that I've already pre-mixed with, um, with the uh, two-stroke oil that I've bought here. And this is the uh, Lucas Synthetic uh, Smokeless 2 Cycle Oil for two-stroke engines. And then I also went and bought this little 50 to 1 mix 2.6 ounce container. What I use this for 
is basically so I, I don't need a measure I just fill this up I've already done the calculation and filling up this container all the way up to the uh, to the cap with this Lucas synthetic oil and then one gallon to this line here will be 25 to 1 ratio which is what I need for my setup here since this engine here it has been modified like I've said I bought it um, brand new from a person on eBay who customizes these engines uh, this is one of those cheap Chinese two-stroke engines but this guy modified it put this air filter on here um, and a couple other components like this carburetor that's aftermarket as well and then also internal build um, I'm also waiting on an exhaust and I'm gonna plan on running it this way so I can get a nice um, little exhaust to help the two-stroke you know be able to perform a little better from the exhaust side uh, it might uh, get routed this way I, I don't know yet I gotta wait and see but normally it gets routed this way uh, so for now thank you guys for watching my video